morning everyone. It poured yesterday and now it is already getting hot and sunny. So, I'm losing my place and I wanna scratch my eyeballs out. It's just the way it is. <clears throat> but I just got Jax to school. The eighth graders have a field trip to the high school today. Sounds like they're going pretty early, which is weird because the high school doesn't open until 9.30 and it is 10 till 9, but I don't know. So I'll have to see how that goes, if Jax is willing to tell me. But let's see if any updates. The mowers are here, exciting. There's a neighborhood mower, which will be all afternoon. They just like to have a front field, we call it. There's a lot of common areas of grass in our neighborhood. They just spend all afternoon on Wednesdays there. I need to get me some water. Oh, there's one thing. So last week they finally announced the second field trip for second grade, and they get two a year. It was so close to the year, we're like, I guess a year you're only getting one. <laughs> but they're going to a park in Leesburg to learn about butterflies since they did hatch butterflies this school year. And I purposefully don't sign up for the fall field trip chaperone. I did this last year too, because I want to get to know the kids and stuff first. And the spring one tends to be outdoors, which I enjoy. As it is, I wear a mask on the bus to get there, and they're like, why are you on a mask? I'm like, because you guys are germy and you're all up in my face right now. No, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> so yeah, when they asked for volunteers the first time around, I was like, I'm gonna wait until I get to know the kids and I'll sign up for spring field trip. And then when they announced the spring field trip, they're like, so we're gonna draw names out of a hat. I'm like, well, darn. <laughs> Last year, they, were, they gave priority to the parents who didn't sign up the first time around, so I was picked. Plus I was given a group of exuberant boys because she knew that I knew them. But I was picked. And so I don't know if they actually did draw from a hat and I got lucky, which I never do, so to, I automatically assume that she just picked me or there wasn't that many volunteers because I'm not lucky, but maybe I was lucky. But I'm, a, I'm a chaperone, that'll be next Thursday already, like, they're just doing this one last minute. big group, which probably means it's the morning office ladies, because I'm not in a lot of groups. <laughs> so, I'll check that in a second. I have a little bit of time. I don't actually need to be at the school to cover the lunch until 11.30. Lunch starts at 10, so I'll be missing first, sec first kindergarten first and second. <clears throat> But Sebastian wants me to have lunch with him, which you're allowed to do. So I'm just gonna pack something and show up for his lunch. And then I will stay and cover for the lady who needs to leave early. That is the plan. I would like to stop at the first store on the way home. Tomorrow or Friday I need to go to the mall because the month is almost up and I still have GameStop Pro until July. I'm going to cancel though. So I'm going to get my $5. <laughs> you can't use it for much anymore, but I can get a pack of Pokemon cards for free. <clears throat> and I'm still looking for like wide leg jeans. I do have the ones that I just thrifted, but they are so absolutely shredded that it's a little ridiculous and they're a little bit short. So that's my loose plan. I'm assuming work will come in once they get a chance to test out what I did yesterday, but for now, 
I'll work on this cover and I'm just gonna make something to put around this cup <laughs> to hide the logo. <laughs> Am I weird? Oh, and somebody asked me about my earrings. I'm not wearing the same ones as yesterday. Welcome to you. I totally get watching and not commenting. I'm not a huge commenter. But I do tend to wear a lot of earrings with moons and suns, and I also like eyes. For me, it's not like super strong symbolism. It's just, I really love celestial things, the universe. My dad was a rocket scientist, literally. He was an astrophysicist. I love anything that reminds me of space and of him, but also of the universe and how we're this tiny little part. Eyeballs kind of make me feel think about humans and our place in the world and being aware of our place in the world. I also like skulls. It reminds me that everybody is the same deep down. We all have similarities. We all have a skeleton underneath. I don't know. I also <coughs> really like Art Deco style <clears throat> and a celestial style and kind of like mixing the two of those together. There's a lot of like crescent moons and suns and starbursts in Art Deco style. So that's kind of the airing vibe in case you wanted to know. But I'm going to drink my tea and work on this and then eventually I need to do something with my hair and get packed up to go to the elementary school. Hello everyone, I'm at the bus stop and it's raining. <laughs> Lunch went well. They didn't know that the office had gotten somebody to cover for the lady who was leaving early. They're like, we could have handled it, but they did stay. It worked out really well to have lunch with Sebastian. And then I had about five minutes of overlap before she had to leave. But it started pouring during fourth grade lunch. Luckily stopped, so I was able to <laughs> leave when we were all done. I went to the thrift store. I was like, I really need to go. And I found frames, I found a cool game. Oh, I see the bus. Stuff for Sebastian, so that's good. And now, of course, it started raining again. <laughs> Getting a video too. <laughs> Hello, 
Hello everyone, it is bedtime. It's a little after eight. It's hard to imagine it being light out. I feel like I was just complaining that it was getting dark before 5 p.m. and here we are. It's eight o'clock and it's still bright and I love it. Love it. I hate dark evenings. It's so nice to take a bath, but it's still light out. Anyway, I don't think Anything too exciting has happened since I like, spoke to you. I don't know if I got Sebastian off the bus since then, but maybe. Maybe, maybe. It's tomorrow, Thursday. Week's going fast. But it was raining, and Sebastian was super excited to see the Nerf Fest and Target, especially the best and immediately wanted to fill it up with Nerf darts. It's nice not having homework right now, I'll tell you that. Oh, I was going to give you water for the day with a little droopy. And Gustav has been like sending this little guy off towards me. <laughs> so I'm sure they all need water. So let's get water while, while I chat. You need to be getting changed. Since close to sink is the kids' bathroom, I keep a little cup in the medicine cabinet that serve in water. They don't really use. So I can water everybody. Gustav, let's do you first. Anyway, yeah, like, I don't know where the time went, but. I was emailing back and forth with Sebastian's teacher. I have to get more water. Because they're doing something called backpack blings, so which is little backpack charms that they made. They asked the parents to contribute supplies, so I ordered a set of the carabiners from their wish list. There was a bunch, the whole second grade's doing it. And I guess they're learning about economics and they'll each have a turn selling them before school. The bell rings at 7.30. I'm gonna set you down the water box because he's so like tight in here. We need to give him a bigger pot, I think. Or at least put him directly into this white pot. Oh, he's peeing himself. Excuse me, Bob. <laughs> but don't do that. There's like a little lump. Do you see that? It's right in front of the light. Interesting. Anyway, so they're all gonna have a turn to sell them, I think for a dollar each next week and they had sent home something asking for parent volunteers and just a circle, what day you can help. And it's from 7.10 to 7.30. Normally I'm still at the bus stop, like just leaving the bus stop and I get to the school around 7.20. So I wrote that and I was like, I could maybe help on my Tuesday because I get there at 7.20. I don't know if that's any help. And she had just written by back, sure. But then Sebastian said he wanted to do it with me. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll get Sebastian to school early on Tuesday, since I'm gonna be there anyway. And we'll just walk early. But then, yes, today comes home a note saying that he is selling on Thursday. <laughs> so I'm like, so confused. I guess they were divided up into groups and Thursday was his day. So it was just a whole bunch of back and forth. I emailed, I was like, okay, I can do Thursday, but Thursday's also the second grade field trip, which I'm a chaperone for, and I need to be there at 9.15, which generally means nine, because you wanna get signed in. But if I'm already gonna be there from 7.10 to 7.30, <coughs> Can, is there something I can just do to help you? In the, I don't want to have to walk home and then walk back and then walk home again. It's just like lots of back and forth for no reason. 
So ultimately, she said, yeah, she could give me a task or project to work on on Thursday in between helping out with the backpack bling before the bell and the field trip. And then I thought I was back to business as normal. On Tuesday, I'll go in for my 7.30 shift in the office. But then she wrote, actually, can you do the Tuesday as well? Pretty pleased because she's gonna be out of town I think starting tomorrow and the first part of next week. So he's like, if you can help out Tuesday too, since I won't be there, I'm like, okay. <laughs> so Tuesday and Thursday, I'll be walking to the school early. Tuesday, I will do the backpack bling with some of Sebastian's classmates. Can you put your watch on the charger and change? I figured I was okay because you haven't even changed yet. <laughs> Gotta get vitamins and toothpaste ready. So Tuesday, yeah, I'll go and do the backpack bling from 7.10 to 7.30 and then go into the office and do my office stuff from 7.30 to I usually do about 8.15, 8.10. Then I walk home and get back to school. And then Wednesday, oh, <laughs> Wednesday I don't have anything yet. I might cover somebody's office shift. Thursday will be another backpack bling with Sebastian. Wait, you don't two backpack blings? Two, I was trying to tell you this at dinner. I don't know why everybody was so confused. Hold on, let me finish telling everybody because they'll get confused. So Thursday I go and do the backpack bling with Sebastian and then stay wow. for the field trip chaperoning. Oh, yeah. And then Friday is his class party, which I don't know the time of yet, but I have it penciled in. So, lots going on that week. The following week, actually Danny on the Tuesday <laughs> is going to come in at 7.45 for field day. So it's just so much, so much. And then the, the following week I have, probably have, volunteering at the 8th grade carnival. I haven't heard back. They're kind of last minute about that. And I have a grooming appointment. I think it's on, that's on the Tuesday, so my office day. The carnival way on fire. I'm talking about Jax's carnival. You both have a carnival. <laughs> Yeah, there's a carnival on Friday evening, which I don't volunteer for that one. It's just too much. There's too much going on. I can't do the evening ones, too, because especially on Fridays, Danny goes out. So it's just, I mean, sometimes Danny's home, but I can't rely on that. And then I would have to go off somewhere and not necessarily have anybody to watch kids and take him around the carnival, right? You want to go to the carnival, so I didn't sign up for that. But yeah, it's all confusing. There's a lot going on, but I think for the rest of the week, so far I'm clear for Thursday and Friday. I've got errands and stuff to do, so hopefully that stays clear. But I'm just going to say goodnight. Sebastian will help me. It's your turn. Uh, Stay safe. Be kind. And don't forget. Wash your hands. Oh God, did you fart?